Did Vitalik just sell some of his coins? Y'all know what that means. I'm gonna get into that. But first, here's some crazy news right now. That $1,200 stimulus check, if you had put that into Bitcoin uh, and you've held it till now, it would now be worth $12,096 from $1,200. I mean, this is inflation for you guys. If you, have it, if you don't know anything about an inflation, get out of US dollars, put your money into Bitcoin or some other inflation hedge because they are printing so much currency. I'm gonna get into that more of that as well in this video. Okay, right now, in 1981, the cost of a single family home was 66,125. Now, the price of an average home is 410,110. This is inflation, guys, and, it, and it's going to be speeding up. But you know what? Here's some good news about people that are worried about inflation. Uh, Sec Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen uh, said yesterday, bringing down inflation is a t the top priority for the president right now. So, yeah, it's not a top priority. They have their masters that they, they need to answer to, which are the, who are the uh, central banks. The Federal Reserve doesn't answer to anybody, and they are unelected, and they're private, and it's neither federal nor is it a reserve, and it has shareholders too. And you'd be very surprised who your sh those shareholders are. If you know who they are, leave a comment down below. All right, now we have Back to the Bitcoin spot ETFs, we have 937 banks and financial institutions own the Bitcoin ETF now. Okay, so this is uh, a Bitcoin ETF. It's not real Bitcoin. I'm going to keep saying that just to knock it in your head. It's a derivative of Bitcoin. But none nonetheless, they have exposure to BlackRock and all these other institutions. Yay. But check this out. This is a really interesting comparison from the Bitcoin spot ETF to the gold spot e ETF. So um, this is 937 financial firms to close spot uh, e Bitcoin ETF holdings Q1 of 2024. Now the gold ETF just uh, had just 95 firms invested in its first quarter. So 95 compared to what we have now, 937. Yeah, Bitcoin, they're just getting started. This is a financial evolution. Um, all right, now we also have the miners, right? So you had 3,150 Bitcoin mined on week 19 of the ETFs, right? But you have 14,389 Bitcoin bought by the institutions trying to buy ETFs uh, on week 19. So guys, the the amount of Bitcoin that are being bought right now is well exceeding the amount of mine Bitcoin. And every four years, it's just gonna get less and less and less. So the supply crunch is going to be, is going to continue to be very extreme. We've never seen a money like this before where when demand increases, supply doesn't automatically increase as well because it can't, you have to mine it. And there's a certain amount of emission that Bitcoin has every single day. Really interesting. Now. Before I get into Vit Vitalik really quick, we have BlackRock CEO we says this, we estimate trillions of dollars of, of capital are needed to build AI data centers. If you are a part of our CT club at learningcrypto.com, you will know that I went heavy, heavy, heavy into AI coins. And there's a reason for that because I can see what people are going to be using in the future. Just as I saw back in 2012, that people were gonna need Bitcoin, and Bitcoin was money, the hardest money that ever existed. The same thing is gonna be happening with AI. It's not going anywhere, it's not a fad. Okay, moving on to Vitalik. This is really interesting. So 200 ETH worth $600,000 from the addresses that originally funded Vitalik's wallets had just been sent to Kraken. Interesting. So this ETH was held for nine years in one wallet before being sent to another wallet, ending in 0x9d2, an address that had that deposited 200 ETH into Kraken yesterday. So this is either Vitalik or the 
Ethereum Foundation selling, and they do have a pattern of selling before a dip. Um, so who knows if there's going to be a dip coming? I don't know. This is just really speculative of what is happening right now. And I wanted to tell you about it because that is one of the things that you're going to want to watch the Ethereum Foundation selling their Ethereum because they usually are very good at marking a top. Uh, anyways, I'm not saying at a top. And if you want to see my thoughts on where the, what the market is doing, you can check out us at ctclub at learningcrypto.com. I just did a post today. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.